What's up, yo? Another video. I'm going to take advantage that I have this push to make lots of videos. So I'm gonna make lots of videos, all right? I probably paint about 10 cars a day and uh, I only show you one a week. So just think about that. Uh, so I think there's a lot more I can show you guys on a daily day basis. So anyways, this is one I just painted, uh, ready to go outside. And I'm going to make a video on painting this side of a BMW. This is a fun color, it was a B67. If you ever have to spray this color, put a light ground on it and uh, away you go. It's, it's a hard color to cover, but it turned out great. All right, we're recording, yep. Uh, we're gonna use, do a little bit of base here. There's chips and stuff all around, but for the first coat, I'm just gonna cover the primer spots, okay? So if you take anything from this video today, this quick video is make sure you cover your primer spots first and then go over the whole thing because that's what they need most coverage, right? Spraying at, spraying at 25 PSI and I'm using the Fuji gun that I showed you guys and uh, this gun works awesome. I'm gonna put so I'm not pulling the trigger all the way Probably putting the trigger halfway. Just want to get some base on that. Notice how I'm angling my gun on here. All right. Now I'm going to take my blower. I'm going to dry these spots, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to coat the whole side. <clears throat> You want to put your first coat on nice and light, so then you can just dry it real quick. Just like that. Then we'll put a nice, uh, nice, nice, even coat, nice and wet. Just to give everything nice coverage so it can be even. This gun does a great job of laying down the base even, as you can tell. You don't get no streaks or any funky stuff like that. That's all I'm doing there. Push my way up. There we go. This color is great, so I'm not concerned about this color. I'm gonna come up here, because I'm gonna loose this color up there. That way you're not gonna get a bunch of overspray here from you putting base here. Turn it down to 18 PSI. We're gonna blow dry this, probably be about five minutes, and then we'll be back. All right, ready to go. Double control coat now. It's going to give us a gorgeous finish. There you have it, ready for the shine.
looks awesome. I'm going to turn off the lights and I'm going to check. Check. I'm going to check for coverage. I forgot to put base on the handles. We'll do it right now. I like to turn off the lights like you've seen in, you know, my other videos because then you can see shadows better. You can see if there's anything that's not covered and you want to kind of point it at it, but you stand on the side so you can kind of see different shadows, different sides. Man, that looks great. Two coats and a double control coat and you're good to go. I love when a job just goes smoothly. Now I'll just crash it in front of the office. <laughs> anyway, so let that couple minutes, then we'll be back for the shine. If you have any questions so far about the process that I've been through, just comment below. Um, I put J-tape in there, J-tape foam. It's a little bit thicker. And what it does, it's got a little uh, sticky on one side. You put it on the, on the, uh, put it on the fender close the door and then you stick it in with like a, a razor blade or whatever it works really well foam tip in there uh the car is spray mask so don't hang me please all right anyway so we're back all right we're ready for sale i need my regulator 34, sounds about right. We recording? Yeah, we are. Here we go, baby. I'm using EC520. With this here, I like to spray it the way that I want it to look on both coats. That way, we're going to get a really nice finish. Look how even that looks. Very nice. I love it. A few minutes. I'm using EC520, so a few minutes to uh, flash, and then we'll put on the second coat. Beauty. Always paint outside of the panel. It will keep your job cleaner. Uh, I said it before. It really helps. It honestly does. I know some people may say, oh, you know, it's a waste of uh, material, but when you're not spending hours polishing, then it means a lot. It does such a good job.
And that's it. Oh, looks good. Love it. And well, there you have it. There you have it. It's just another little job. Hopefully, you got some value out of this video. If you did get some value out of this video, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. I mean, I always, if, if you don't get any value from these videos, if you don't get any values from these videos, then, you know, I won't make them anymore. So just, if you learned something, let me know. If you didn't learn something, let me know. If you don't like me, let me know or keep it to yourself, either or. But I'm happy with this job. This is what I do every day. This looks very clean as well. Little net there and there is there. Man, it looks clean, I like it. On to the next one. So that's what I do all day. Painting one after the other. So it's it's pretty crazy. If I were to make a video of every car I paint in a day, then I don't know if I will have any subscribers. Is that something you guys would like to see? Would you guys like to see each and every single car that I paint all throughout the day? I'm sure I could, you know, try to hire someone to edit all the videos and put them together. What do you guys think? I'll comment below. I don't know if you want me to, um, if you want me to make a video of almost every car I paint. Let me know. Comment below.